Hello everyone, welcome to the micro USB connector tutorial. The objective of this video is to investigate how a micro USB connector can be used to create a circuit on a breadboard. We'll be investigating how to set up a standard circuit as well as setting up the circuit in rails. The following is the equipment that will be used in the tutorial for the micro USB connector. Before we begin, let's talk about the micro USB connector. There are two main pins, the 5 volt pin and the ground pin. Then proceed to insert a micro USB cable into the micro USB connector. Then connect the micro USB cable to the power adapter. Then plug the power supply into the wall. Then gently insert the micro USB connector so that it straddles the gap and all pins are inserted into the holes of the breadboard. Then using two jumper wires, connect the micro USB connector ground, indicated by the ground symbol labeled on the connector, to the ground which is the blue rail of the breadboard. Then connect the 5 volt output of the connector to the positive red rail of the breadboard. You can connect the 5 volt output on the connector to either positive red rail of the breadboard. We're going to be using an LED as the output for this circuit. Make sure you're connecting the positive rail to the longer lead of the LED. Then connect the resistor to the shorter lead of the LED and somewhere else on the breadboard. Finally, make sure to ground the resistor into the blue rail of the breadboard. Notice that your LED now turns on. Once you're done creating your circuit, your circuit should look similar to the diagram shown. Now that we looked at the standard setup for the micro USB connector, we're now going to look at the setup as you put the connector into the rails of the breadboard. Now proceed to insert the micro USB connector into the rails of the breadboard. You'll need to angle the micro USB connector in order to fit both pins into the breadboard. Ensure that the 5 volt pin is connected to the positive rail and ensure that the ground pin is connected to the ground rail. Just as before, the output we will be using will be an LED. Proceed to put the LED into the breadboard as well as connecting a resistor to it. Then, take two jumper wires to connect the positive rail to the longer lead of the LED. And finally, using the last jumper wire, connect the ground rail to the end of the resistor. You'll notice that the LED once again turns on. The circuit built should be similar to the diagram shown. This concludes the tutorial for the micro USB connector. As we investigated how to do a standard setup, as well as setting up the micro USB connector in the rails of the breadboard. You should now be comfortable with setting up the micro USB connector in a standard setup, as well as setting up a circuit in the rails of the breadboard.